Hi, I'm Scotty Cooper, and you're tuning into Magic Moments. Today's story, I share an exercise that I used to change the way I thought about myself, which ultimately changed the outcomes of my life. If you stay tuned to the end, I'll share with you a simple hack that can change your life. My junior year of high school, I had this issue where I had a hard time trusting myself and having faith in myself. My dad and I worked a lot to really come up with a way that I could remind myself to be faithful. So what we did is we developed a affirmation for me to say all the time. So whenever I felt myself not feeling faith in myself, I would do this affirmation. My junior year of high school, like I said, I was playing football at Servite High School, which for those of you that know is a pretty big high school. It's a pretty big stage to play on. And um, what we did is just every time I'd go on the field right before the play, I would in my head, I'd say, faithful, faithful, faithful. And it was a reminder for me that I can trust myself and I can do it. This is a thing I did every day, every single game, every single play. And so, we get to this championship game. We're playing in Angel Stadium. It's, it's raining. The field is completely flooded. Literally, it felt like you were running on the beach, like, like in the water. That's what it felt like. And my job was to hike the ball to our kicker. And so the ball literally was underwater. And I was so out of my element that I was, all I could think about was that, that I forgot to do my affirmation. And like I said, I've done this every single play for like a whole season. And this is the championship game and I didn't do it. And what I ended up doing is I hiked the ball over the, the kicker's head. It was mortifying because like the game was on TV, like it was a close game. I thought we had lost it. Like that could have been our whole season. And I just, I felt terrible. When I came onto the sideline and one of my friends was like, you know, just pick it up, like you got this. And I went back out for the next, the next time we had a punt. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick with what I know and I'm going to go back to like what I should have done and just remind myself like to be faithful, faithful. And the, this time I had a guy across from me that was an all state player. He was going to be going to UCLA. He was their star player. He's massive. And he's the guy that's lined up against me. So the ball is now underwater again. And instead of me kind of focusing on that, I just went back into my head and I said, faithful. Faithful, faithful. I hiked the ball perfectly. We got the kick off. And it just reminded me that like in those times, like go back to it, like use the affirmation, remind yourself that that's what you are. So then the next year, my senior year, you know, i had been doing this practice for a long time. And I eventually got to the point where I had told myself so many times that I was faithful and I, reminded myself every single day that I can do it. And my senior year, I didn't need to do it anymore. And I kind of asked myself, okay, why do I not need to do it? It's like, cause I am that now. I don't have to remind myself cause I already know. No one needs to tell me, not even myself. Like my belief is so strong now that I am faithful in myself and all the things that I do. But it took me a while to get to that point where I was doing it every single challenging time. So what I would encourage you is to find something that you use to remind yourself, find what works for you. For me, it was faithful, right? Other people might be fulfillment or it might be writing out that I'm a successful entrepreneur or whatever it is for you, or I'm healthy or I'm capable of love or whatever it is, like I said, for you. Keep saying it, keep telling yourself it till you are that, till it's no longer a separate thing and it's part of you. And I think that if you can do that effectively, you find that your life changes and your, your brain will literally rewire to know that that's what you are.